Oh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, I, my contribution to today's dinner is peach cobbler. And um, I had just put a stick of butter in here. I started a little late, but um, this is the ooh, uh, bottom crust in there. Getting not brown, I'm not browning it. I'm just cooking it just a little bit so it won't be, you know, like too soggy. So that's gonna be in there for about 20 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes. Now I'm about to add in my peaches. I don't strain the peaches. Some people do, some people don't. Two 29 ounce cans of peaches. Give that a little, a little stir. One cup of brown sugar. One cup of white sugar. There's little black pieces in it because I didn't rinse it out from that. So that's what, what that is. Uh, let me stir this up. It already smells good for the video. So then you do like a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I feel like that's a teaspoon. A teaspoon of nutmeg. So you let that kind of turn the fire up. It's on like medium right now. When I put my thickener in there, I'll turn it up to like medium high. Since I love vanilla extract we get this big thing from sam's i'm gonna put a nice little amount in there maybe two teaspoons of the vanilla in there the amount of vanilla i just put in there probably was actually two tablespoons but i like a lot in there so yeah do what you like of course we don't want it to be this soupy um it's gonna thicken up anyways once you like put it in the fridge after the you know, like through the night, but I want to thicken it up now. So I'm going to use some cornstarch. Yeah, I realized that I forgot to do this step. You shouldn't like throw the cornstarch directly in there. Um, so I'm going to do about four of these. And then you mix it in water so it won't be clumpy in your filling. So I'm about to pour a little bit of water in here. And then add it to my mixture. And this will just make it go in smooth. So pour it in there. And then just mix it on up. Okay, so our crust should be done. It's been about 25 minutes or so because this pan is actually deeper than i wanted to go and i was going to use the pan that we already had but you know when you bring things over you know someone's house you just want to be able to just throw it away when it's done you know instead of having to wash it so this this pan is not going to fill the top of the pan <laughs> i know i definitely know it's not um but oh well and i probably should have used my other so like i can peel this over the edge so it would cover like the sides of the um peach cobbler but whatever this is my first time using it in this so i'll just whatever it's okay it'll still be good okay it's been a few minutes later and it's already starting to thick up i don't want to over boil uh the peaches i don't want to make them like soggy or anything but i'm gonna just leave it in here just a few more minutes. Y'all, yeah. this is so good. I just tasted it. It's so, so good. It's nice and sweet. And then of course with the crust, oh, it's so good.
We always start vlogging when we're about to go. I finished my peach cobbler. It, it kind of fell apart. Not kind of, it did fall apart because I put too much butter on top. And so the dough kind of like separated. It. It's right here on the washer. So thank you. So yeah, we're about to head to Carlos' parents' house. And I guess I probably won't vlog when we get there. Like, I don't know. We'll see. See y'all whenever.